Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I feel like I haven't seen you in such a long while and yeah, it's been three weeks. Sorry for that, sorry for that. Uh, anyway, today we're doing a very dramatic look and how many times did I start my videos with those exact words? Maybe a million times? Anyway, uh, today is a very dramatic look and on the gothic side, which I wanted because I promised a very good friend of mine, Charlie, hi, that I will do a look for her. She's very much into that scene and uh, I also love it, like, you know, like a form of art. And um, she promised that she will recreate this look if I do it. So, yeah. I'm waiting, I am waiting Charlie and please do post your picture on your Instagram page and tag me in that picture because I want to see it and everyone else. So now let's start. Okay, as always, I'm going to prime first my eyelids with the Soft Ochre from MAC. This is a pain pot and I'm just applying it with my fingers. As always, I'm tapping it into my skin. A very thin layer is all you need. And uh, then I'm going to move on to the palette I'm going to use for this look. It's the Huda Beauty Remastered Rose Gold Palette. First, I'm taking a black, yes, a matte black eyeshadow. And this is the first eyeshadow I'm starting with. I am starting with it at the base of my lashes and I'm going up with my look um, because I'm working with so much black and so um, darker colors I will have to be careful because I don't want to look like I'm being punched you know in the eye I want to apply every single eyeshadow layer by layer and um, as many times as it is necessary just because I want this look to be very blended and very well done now I have done like a very thick eyeliner with that black but very like sloppy you don't have to be very careful with that um, then I'm taking risque which is this matte very beautiful deep dark um, kind of pink movie pink and I am applying this directly onto the outer corner and also on the black so don't um, don't worry because you know you're going to lose from that intensity because we are going to reapply the black and then again the pink and the black until I am happy happy with the intensity as always and the blending and all that as you can see I'm applying on top of that paint now the black again maybe a bit thicker than before and then again with the pink on top of that on top of the edge of it mostly but also you can go over the black no problem there because the last thing we will do is to reapply the black and um, you know bring back the intensity of it slowly and gradually we are going to get there but the Look, looks like this at the moment we are applying and reapplying the same two eyeshadows and in layers this is the best way to apply especially darker eyeshadows and especially when working with black this is a must so for now we are concentrating the two eyeshadows onto the mobile lid and the crease area and um, then gradually we're going to bring the eyeshadows outside and upwards you know because we want that very sort of a vampy look with this and uh, we're going to get there as I've said but uh, we need a bit of time you know take your time um, we are not rushing this because it's about blending and about making it look very very good now I'm not really really 100% happy with the application on the first eye on the you know right eye but I'm moving on to the left one because I want to sort of bring it to the same level the right one is and then in the end I'm going to perfect the application. I'm just going to go over with the two eyeshadows again but being very careful and uh, you know the blending has to be well mind-blowing. So for now the eye look um, has that 
sort of rounded form not very elongated bit maybe but we are going to elongate it even more um, especially after I'm done with the base and with the eyebrows because I want to see how much I want or can go outside you know the eye socket so that it looks good um, I'm going to take now another sort of blending brush more rounded more stiff and the bristles are shorter and I'm going now with the black I just dipped lightly into the pan I don't have much product on it but I am perfecting now the look so I'm applying the black then the pink again and this is mainly the look I'm going for I'm not going to put any glittery things um, nothing like that I just want to I just want this look to be very vampy as I said and anyway now I'm cleaning up underneath the eyes I'm doing um, that sort of graphic line there but it's not gonna be stained like that don't worry this like it's, it's nothing about um, being graphic and sharp lines this is just a very smoky blended and dark look now moving on to mascara I'm using my uh, one of my favorites um, this is from my co London and this mascara is beautiful I love the wand of it it's so thin and also you can apply it on the bottom lashes without smudging it all over your skin and then I'm moving on to my base because I did apply my skincare before filming and now I can go directly with the foundation which is from NYC the smooth skin liquid foundation it's a good foundation I've talked about it on my channel quite a few times but um, I'm using it only when I know that I'm just gonna you know be somewhere for um, like two or three hours because longer than this it might not stay put especially if you are like oily skin or combination and uh, you know it's summertime then I I would stay away from it but it is a beautiful foundation I think it's on the medium side it doesn't cover or hide everything um, I don't need it I'm very fortunate to not need it so sometimes I do reach for it and more in winter time but now I just want it you know I wanted to even out my skin tone and this is a perfect foundation for this you might want to go for a lighter one if you want to be very dramatic I didn't want to be more dramatic than this but you can I'm just saying and then I'm moving on to concealer which is from Kevin Oquan my camera didn't focus on the name but it's the central or the central skin enhancer and the shade is SX04 so yeah actually the shade 4 and I'm applying it with a brush which is actually a a lid brush from Rio Techniques but it's like a bit fluffy and it works for this as well and I am tapping it and moving it around and I'm doing that triangular shape but first as I said I am tapping it and uh, when I like the coverage of it which is whoa <laughs> mind-blowing um, then you can move it around you know this is the, my way of applying concealer and I am uh, being very careful to sort of lift every shadow because I'm using lots of pinks and mauves and uh, those shades that tend to make you look tired you know with like bags underneath your eyes so lift everything um, before and then move on to apply the eyeshadows underneath the eyes now I'm locking everything into place because the foundation is more on the dewy side not very but you know with um, with the skincare underneath and or yeah it is a bit dewy and I am using here a uh, pressed powder foundation from MAC this is the NC20 the shade of it and it's the studio fix and uh, yeah this is on the lighter side as you can see it does uh, have an effect and it's also very covering so yeah if you need more coverage this is a very good product and then I am putting on uh, bronzer which is from this trio from revolution makeup and as you well know bronzer is here to give dimension to our face which we took away by applying the concealer and the foundation and uh, I'm applying my bronzer from the top of my cheekbone towards the corner of my mouth because I want to elongate my face I feel like this is very flattering on myself and if you have like a rounded shape um, then yes you uh, can apply it like this and it will elongate your your face more meanwhile I did apply the blusher on 
from the same 3o as i normally do you know one layer and then the second one more concentrated very diffused and more on the apples of my face and now i'm moving on to the eyes again i'm uh, i did apply the black as you saw very very thickly and now i am blending that out so with the third eyeshadow i am using for this look it's called doll face it's a very very nice pink a doll kind of pink it's matte as well and i'm going pretty low with it you can of course go lower than this it's up to you how vampy and vavavoom you want to take this look and um the combination i feel like it's oh my god i just i love it i'm looking at it and i'm just whoa <laughs> i love it can i wear this look every day yeah maybe not every day but like now and again because i normally go for like graphic looks and yeah a smoky look it's also fancy so i will remember that um now i'm putting in the inner rims of my eyes this black eye core which is from maybelline it's the tattoo liner and uh, i'm making this look very very intense from sort of from the inner part outwards i want it very blown out very very diffused and very very intense and smoky and uh, now i did apply in the inner rims of my eyes a black hole from maybelline and then i took the same brush from the beginning with no product on it and i went over the edges top and bottom part and i elongated the outer corners i moved around a bit the product that's there and i perfected the blending and uh yeah then i put on another layer of mascara because this look requires it and i'm not gonna put false lashes you know i don't want to make it glam i want it grungy and smoky and intense and it's like who oh, me i don't know i'm just you know the little sister of dracula and i put on my perfect makeup and i really don't care about anything but moving on to my next victim <laughs> oh pardon me moving on to my brows i meant and i'm using here the anastasia beverly hills ash brown um this is a pomade from her i really do love this product and i'm applying it quite heavily i'm making the um outer part of my brows very elongated so that the eye look doesn't look too i don't know out of place or too elongated and i want everything in in, in synergy <laughs> and moving on to my lips this is the last step i am just um tracing and outlining a bit my outer part my outer half of the two you know i don't know you see winding and i'm using from uh, kiko a lip liner this is a very very like dark burgundy crayon and this is in matita labra something like that and uh, then i'm putting on the lipstick which is from l'oreal it's the shade 473 obsidian i'm putting this where i did the liner and in the middle of my lip to plump up my lips and you know for like i don't know to make it look more interesting i'm just putting a very very intense pink liquid lipstick and uh, this is not a very good one so i cannot really recommend it to you but it's the idea of this lip and this is it so guys this is my dramatic gothic look i hope you liked it as always give a thumbs up subscribe here to my channel don't go before you subscribe and also go on my um instagram vero and facebook page i am there and i post now and again because you know sometimes i'm lazy and that being said that's all see you next time bye